Hi, my friend. My name is Taha Majid. I am an engineer working in biogas and waste to energy. I work in this field for a long time and it's so interesting to me and I'm sure it will be interested for all of you. Biogas digester is one of the renewable energy important technology. It can turn all kinds of waste to successful materials like biogas and liquid filterizer. It's more like an animal really. You feed it by food waste and water day after day and will give you always a good material. One of is uh, used, it's creating biogas and liquid filterizer. Biogas is mixed of many gases, methane and hydrogen sulfate and carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide. Methane is hydrocarbonic gas. It can create heat and energy. We can use biogas to cooking, generate electricity and heating water. And we can use liquid filterizer for growing more food. Biogas technology is more like closed cycle technology. It's Number one, feeding, we feed it. The bacteria inside the digester will eat the food waste and organic material and will create biogas, a liquid filterizer. It's more like cow, you feed it, you will have gas, you will have good materials. Now we will build an ARTI digester. ARTI digester is developed by uh, appropriate Rural Technology Institute in India. It's open source digester. It's really easy to build it. It consists of two tanks. The first one is the digester, the place where the bacteria live and grow and feed to produce biogas and liquid filterizer. It will be on the ground in this way. And the second tank, it will be the gas storage. This is where the gas will be storage. And after that, to use it, this digester will be inside this digester, the bigger one upside down, and it will be having a up and down movement depending on when you have a, a gas or not. The other parts that will be used to build the digester, it's really simple and available in every hardware store around the world. It consists of PVC pipe. In our build, we will use four inch PVC pipe for inlet and three inch PVC pipe for outlet, outlet, the outlet pipe and four inch two piece adapter that will be connected on the body of the tank to connect the pipe and three inch adapter this will be connect to the body of the digester to connect the outlet pipe and four inch elbow it's better to have this elbow with the cap the side this is will be helping us a lot for maintenance in the future and three inch pipe for outlet line and teflon and gas line. Gas line, you can build it by PVC or steel or even a plastic pipe. It will be connected to the gas storage. This is one of the simplest way for choosing uh, the diameters of the digester. It's by bring the gas storage and put it in the top of the digester and be sure it's in the exactly in the middle. And we bring piece of food and there's connect pin in the end of it and we put the piece of wood in the body of the gas storage and after that you connect it to the pin let the pin touch the digester body and make the circle now we will make the hole for installing the four inch adapter for inlet pipe now we will use a hole saw, it's for round cut, and most important thing we choose uh, a hole saw with a diameter fit with the adapter, it's like this way. Be sure it's compatible in the same diameter. And we use a drill with a hole saw to make this a round cut. Okay. Important notes before you start make the, uh, the round cut. Be sure everything is connected in a good way. Second thing, keep your body far from the drill to make it safe for you. And second thing, try not to push it very hardly because this whole saw, it does not need a lot of tension. It just need to put it softly and keep, keep, it, keep the teeth eating like normally without any pressure.
Now we will start connecting the LED adapter for the adjuster in this way. As we said before, we did not apply any epoxy or glue now because we do a dry build. When we choose the final site and take all parts there, we will apply the, the epoxy glue and PVC cement for connect everything and make it tight. And now to connect the pipe, that will send the material inside the digester. This is, will be the look like from inside. One of the important notes, what we usually do after we finish building the digester, we put two cinder blocks or bricks around the pipe to protect the pipe and let the gas storage sit on the brick, not on the pipe, because maybe the gas storage will damage the inlet pipe. And in this way, we will be keep it safe from any damage. Now we will connect the pipe and the adapters and other pipe for inlet line. It will be in this way. Here we will cut like 20 to 30 centimeters, depending on what you want. And connecting this 90 degree elbow with the cap. And after that, we will connect the pipe for inlet. The height of the inlet is, we usually cut it with the height of the body of the digester or a little bit, a little bit higher. And that's it. Now we will go to cut. And now we will connect the last piece. And that's it. Now we have the inlet line. This is the side where we put the feeding material for feed to feed the digester from this side. Now we make a hole for outlet, the filterizer. We use again a hole saw with the diameter is fit with the adapter like this will be we must check the diameter beginning and be sure it's, it's the same diameter. Okay? And now we'll use the drill and the hole saw to make to make the hole the adapter. And important notes where the 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 place where we put the adapter is depend on where you put the digester and what it's fit with you. You can put it in the opposite direction for the inlet, inlet from this side and outlet from this side or to the side. It's not really important. It's not a big deal where you put it, but the most important thing is what it's fit with you. It's very easy. What's the easy place for you to take the filterizer? This is the important notes. And now we, we will start cutting. And after we make the hole now, we connect the adapter, the outlet adapter. Like this. There is very important notes. We must take it as in, in our mind. When we connect the adapter, the inside adapter from this side, it, it must be not tall because if it's taller than the body of the digester, it will be hit the gas storage when it's go up and down. Because of that, it's really most important to cut it if it's tall, we must cut it to exactly to the body of the digester. Yeah. Because of that, we must cut it to this place. This is will be saving us from any problem in the future when the gas storage sits here. Now we cut the inlet adapter for outlet pipe in this way. Okay. Now the cut is with the with the body for the digester, it's just exactly. This is will be helping us really a lot when we put the gas storage in the top of the digester. And it will be very easy and smoothly for the gas storage to go up and down without hitting the adapter. Now we will continue to doing the outlet, the filterizer pipe. We will cut 20 centimeter PVC pipe from this and we will connect the adapter and another piece for one meter and this is will be the outlet filterizer line okay now to go to cut now we finish cutting all the piece this small one is about 20 centimeter it will be connected this way and the adapter the elbow and in this way this is the outlet filterizer pipe. This is where, when we receive the filterizer, will be coming this direction, and we will receive it by put a bucket or even make a, a hole in the ground to receive the filterizer. 
And now after we finish the building the digester, now we will be continue to do, doing the gas storage. Gas storage, it's simple operation comparing with building the digester because it's only two steps. First step to make a big hole in the top. We will not cut it all, all the top like what we do in the digester. No, we will cut a big pieces because we usually keep small pieces like, like this part, we keep it there and it's four parts. We usually keep it in the place. This is will be helping us to mix the material inside the digester a little bit. When the tank is go up and down, we'll shake the material and bacteria from down to top when it's moving and give us a little bit mixing. Second step is install the gas line. Plastic tanks or PVC tank in our country and most of the countries come with already a hole and a thread on it. Because of that, we will use this small hole to connect a gas line and make it easy, it's not drilling anything. Now we finish cutting the top of the gas storage. It will be in this way, but it's really, it's, you can do it in your way, depending on your shape of your tanks. The most important thing to make a big hole here and here and here and here to make the gas easy for gas to go inside the gas storage. This is the whole idea. Make it by yourself, what you make you okay with your design. This is the most important thing. Now we will go to do the gas line. Now we will make the gas line outlet. And as we say before, because we have a thread already, a pre-installed hole with threads in our tanks that's available in our country and, and, and most of the world really, we did not need to make another hole. We just use this one to connect the parts. Really the parts, it's simple. It's adapter and piece of pipe and uh, a valve and hose connector. And you can use a PVC parts or plastic or metal, depend on what you have really. And it's very simple. It's number one. Number two, and last one. And as we say before, we did not use uh, Teflon for now because it's dry bulb. And after when we decide to uninstall it on the last place, we will use a Teflon to connect. After we finished building the digester, now we will fill it by cow manure and water to start the inoculation of the bacteria inside the digester. We use a normal cow manure that it's, it's collected from uh, a cow farm here in Kurdistan. And after that, we bring like a five bag and similar to this size, we need to fill it exactly to the quarter of the height of the digester by cow manure. And after that, add water. In the beginning, we add water to the half. And after that, we put the gas storage in his place. And after that, fill it, filling the, the tank to the height of the outlet line. And we usually do this process when the temperature is about 35 to 37 degree, it's like uh, summer and, and, and spring. And wait between one week to three weeks until we notice there is a gas coming from the gas line. And we need to check if this gas is flammable or not. If it's not flammable, we just remove the gas and wait for the second days and repeat the operation 
until we find a, a full flammable gas. In this point, we will be start adding food for the digester day after day, and we will have gas day after day that we can use it for whatever we want, cooking, generating electricity, or other things. Here we have a full functional biogas digester. It's already have a production of biogas and we keep feeding it daily and we feed it from this direction and receive the liquid fertilizer from this direction, as you see, and receive the biogas from the top. Uh, and we put a weight on the top of it. This weight will be helping us to push the gas to the stove or for generator or for the gas lamp. And in replace of it, we can use a small pump to push the gas. And it's depending on what you have. Uh, you can feed this digester di like daily by one kilogram or two kilogram of food waste mixed with water. And with optimum temperature, you will receive a good amount of biogas that it's enough for cooking three meals for small family. Different feed feeding material like a kitchen leftover and fruit and vegetables and other organic material is very important for make the bacteria healthy and creating a lot of biogas. We use a kitchen blender, normal one, for mixing all the food material with the water and after that we put it inside the digester in this way. It's very simple. We use normal blender, like what we all have inside our houses, and try to cut the food material or kitchen leftover for small pieces and put it inside it with a good amount of water. We usually put one kilogram of food for food waste for 1,000 liter digester. This is the optimum optimum weight for the digester in 1,000 liter. And we add water. Now we run the blender. And it's really like, it's really similar like we make a juice inside the house. It's very simple by using any blender. And in this way, we reduce the size of feeding material. That will make it easy for the bacteria to eat it and digest it. And when we make it in this way, we solve a lot of futuristic problem. And that's it. Now we take it and put it inside the digester. Now we are ready to put the beautiful organic food to the digester and it's really important to make it like a juice like it this way to make it easy for bacteria to eat it and it's very simple just we put it in this way after we fed the digester we will receive a liquid filterizer immediately liquid fertilizer it's really full by nutrient to plant and it consists of very good material for growing plants like carbon and nitrogen and phosphate, MBK. And it's come concentrated with a lot of good material. We need before we add it to the ground to feed the plant, we need to dilute it by water, one to three or one to five. It's full by this size, we will fill it to full, one to three. One filterizer to three, same amount water. After we fill by water, now it will be added to the ground. We will spill it directly to the tree or a garden. This is, will be help a lot for by feeding all the plants.
as we said before, biogas, we can use biogas for generating heat and cooking and generating electricity. Now we will do how we can convert normal LPG stove or normal gas stove to work on biogas. This is normal family scale stove. Uh, the difference between biogas and cooking gas or LPG is very simple. LPG come in a bottle under pressure, but biogas come with almost no pressure or very little pressure when we use a pump. Because of that, it needs a very simple changing in the stove to make normal stove run on biogas. That means we need to remove few things inside the stove and close the place where the air coming inside the stove because of the difference between biogas percentage of air to fuel comparing with LBG. Now, now we will start make the change for the stove. Number one, remove few screw from the back and remove everything from the top and open the stove to show the pipe from inside. The converting consists of two steps. Number one is removing this small nozzle. This small nozzle is built for LPG gas or normal, normal house gas. This changes the pressure from high pressure to low pressure. With biogas, we need to remove this small nozzles. Second step is closing the holes that enter the air inside the stove. This air is important for LBG gas, for stove working on LBG gas, because the air come from this hole mixed with LBG gas, because LBG gas come with a high pressure and enter the air with it and run the flame. But with biogas, the biogas come with no pressure or almost very, very little pressure. Because of that, we did not air from this direction. We will use only the air near to the burner only. And we close these holes very easily by using normal tape in this way. It's very simple. Just check it's totally closed with a good amount of tape or Teflon or what you have. First step for converting the stove to work on biogas, it's to removing this small nozzle. This small nozzle is work with LBG gas to change, change the gas pressure from high pressure to low pressure. But with biogas, as we say, biogas come with almost no pressure or very small pressure. We did not need that. Because of that, we need to remove it for all the burner. And it's very easy. Just use a small wrench to remove it. And remove it totally. Like this. In this way. And after that, after we close the air intake and we'll install the stove again and that's it. It's very, very simple. Uh, we choose how to add as a cow manure in the beginning and uh, the amount of water for every digester. It's really we can do it in a simple way that we use uh, the height of the tank as an indicator to, put, to know how much we need to put as a cow manure under water. We usually do it in the simple way that we develop it. Just add a cow manure to the quarter of the height of the tank and fill the water to the top. In the beginning, we did not fill it in the top. We fill it to the half of the height of the tank. And after we put the gas storage in his place, we continue adding water to the, exactly to the level of the outlet of the filterizer line. 
The preferred material to use to use to feed the digester, it's really depend on what you have on your house, in your kitchen, in your garden, in your farm, or in the or what you have in a barn. You can use all kind of organic material to feed the digester, from cow manure, horse manure, uh, chicken, ducks, uh, your kitchen leftover, uh, and agriculture waste. The most important thing, the most must have uh, a high percentage of wet inside it. Uh, the unwanted material or unwanted things for feeding the digester is just like a grass and branches and solid materials that it did not have a good amount of wet inside it. This is not good for feeding the digester and it's really hard to bacteria to eat it and digest it and create biogas and maybe create more and more problem. Because of that, it's better to avoid it and stay with leftover and, and, and food wastes and fruit and other vegetables which that we can have it inside our house and with animal manure. Uh, about the water that we use it to feed the digester, we did not need uh, a tap water or uh, purified water. We can use all kind of water from different resources like a, a water from well, a river, uh, even not clean water because anaerobic bacteria will kill all other bacteria. It's like aerobic bacteria and even uh, germs when it's enter inside the digester. And it's really the bacteria can use even the salt in the water as a feed and, and as a nutrient to the bacteria. Because of that, it's not use, not try to use a clean water and just use all water that you have. When we finish finishing building the digester and we want to start run the digester in the beginning, we should use a cow manure in the beginning because cow manure have the highest percentage of anaerobic bacteria from all other animals uh, wastes. But we can use another kind, another kind of manure like a horse manure and uh, other kind of manure but will not give us an efficiency for producing biogas and maybe take a longer time for the first run to produce biogas. Because of that, our first choice and most preferred choice is the cow manure. We usually did not cut the top of the gas storage as a, a, full, a full cut like what we did for the digester because we, we keep like a, a structure on the top, like, like small pieces, uh, because these pieces, when it's, the tank is upside down inside the digester, it will be shaking the bacteria and, and, and all the digested material inside the tank when it's go up and down, this is will make a small mixing to the digester. And this movement, even with symbol, will increase the efficiency for producing biogas. Um, the most known problem when we build a digester and like a common mistake that people make it when it build it, it's the leak uh, in the fitting between the digester and the adapters for inlets of the material and, and gas storage and uh, outlet filterizer line. Because of that we must be checked in the beginning when we tied everything and use a good amount of glue and epoxy or PVC glue and be sure everything is, is, is sitting in his place without a problem. Maybe we can do in the beginning before we add a cow manure to make a, uh, a check about it and just put a water, a small amount and check all the fitting is not leaking, especially in the feeding line because it's, it's, it's the lowest lowest spot on the digester because of that it will be have a lot of pressure going to this point because of that we need to check this one and check the gas line before we add a cow manure because it will be very difficult to fix it. Second problem, it's usual problems that come in, the acidity, the problem with acidity. The acidity problems come through uh, feeding digester a lot by a lot of material and by using like citrus material 
And this is what increased the acidity, and this is caused by killing the bacteria inside the digester and, and stop the production of biogas. Because of that, we need to check the acidity, especially when we have like a smell of sour material inside the digester. And we can fix it by adding alkaline material to the digester. It's very easy. The biogas digester is totally safe. Uh, and there is no even small percentage for explode because the system is come with no pressure at all. The bacteria produce biogas as a small bubble and it's accumulate inside the gas storage and save there. And all this operation with no pressure at all. The pressure is very, very, very low. Because of that, when even when you want when we want to to use the biogas to run a stove, we need a pump or a pressure. And it's only a small flame, that's it. Because of that, it's not a dangerous, but if we compress the biogas, the dangerous come through the pressure that we need it to be, and after that will give us a biogas and fertilizer. No, it's literally in a small animal. It need care, and it need love, and need, and need to care about all the details of it. And after that, we will receive, receive the benefits of this small, beautiful animal. And it's a great technology, can help the life of the people a lot and can make a huge change, especially for people that are without resources except an organic waste and with really, really limited resources. Biogas digester, it's not so complicated to build and it's really, we can build it from all kinds of material. It's not only a PVC tanks, we can use metal tanks, a concrete tanks, a brick tanks. And we can use different way of connecting. It's not even uh, a big pipe. No, we can use a small or a medium size. We can use a steel pipe, a metal pipe. And it's really, there is no a certain design or like a, an optimum or a perfect things for build. No, build it by yourself, by all kind of material that you have on the ground and, and try to invent things and, and develop a new idea, just make the principle about the idea and care about the details, the correct temperature, the good feeding, and add the water all the time. Water really good for the digester. And eventually we'll have biogas. And how much we travel around the world and, and see people in need like in, in, in the Middle East and in, in Africa and in, in, in India. This technology really can make change for the life of people to the better life. Okay, for following the video and if you need any support and if you have any question, our contact informations and emails will be available on the end of the video. Thank you so much.